The lock on pistol has been unvaulted in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1, making it the only hit scan item on the entire map. In today's video, I'm going to be getting this gun, giving you guys some gameplay with it, telling you everything about the item as well as trying to get a win. On top of that, we're going to be giving you Fortnite tips throughout this video. And if you ever want to do me a favor, make sure you subscribe down below for more Fortnite content. So we're going to be landing lavish layer this video. Now, the lock on pistol, I've been having a little bit of issues finding. I found it in my first game, the previous five haven't found it at all. Now the reason we're landing Lavish Lair is so we can get the Mythic Shotgun, one of the best items to get in Zero Build, but don't worry, we'll be showing you gameplay with the Lock On Pistol. Now the reason I like landing here is because there's actually a fair few good things you can get from this spot. Now that is the vending machine there, but we're not going to need it since we did get ourselves a Flowberry Fizz and we do have ourselves some barrels here as well. So it's always a great spot to land because you can get that guaranteed shield no matter what. As long as you have gold, you can get that total 250 HP in zero build. Because we are playing zero build today because this item is known to be better in zero build. I will go over all of those points shortly. But right now, let's loot up and look for this item before going towards Oscar. Now, we didn't get the greatest items from over here, but that's okay because the main purpose of landing here was to just make sure we get that guaranteed shield. Now, what you wanna do is not head towards the main building, but you wanna head towards the back area here to get a Jeep. Now, the reason that you want a Jeep is because these are one of the best vehicles in order to fight Oscar. Now, this doesn't work for a lot of NPCs, but because of the way that Oscar plays, this typically works best with him unless he throws a clinger at you. Now, the reason I like this item so much for fighting Oscar as well is because it stops people third partying super, super easily. So what I like to do here is roll up towards this building and I'm not shooting him right away. It's actually quite unexpected. Most people expect you to shoot right away. I like breaking out a couple walls first because Oscar does get stuck on those walls. And what we're trying to do is bait him out of the building. Now, the more you get Oscar out of the building, the less likely you get third party. And you really want to move towards the back half here. And I'm going to waste this entire gun's magazine. And then I'm just going to switch to the one on the floor rather than reloading. Really good tip to do that a lot of the time. Really great way of conserving ammo. So now if I do lose my overshield or someone else does come, I'm just going to jump in my vehicle and it'll be a lot less likely for me to die. Just got to avoid Oscar's clingers there. I will start taking out some of his bots as well. And here we are, we're moving towards the backside here and you want to keep kind of trailing Oscar away from the main building there. And there we go. Now someone did go to third party that. They're gonna to have to run through the entire building before making it to the back. So it's very, very unlikely. And it looks like someone is being shot at. So we will loot this whole POI now because we are looking for the lock on pistol. It only spawns in blue rarity. So if you see a color that's not blue, don't worry, it's not that gun. Now it does have a potential of five spawn spots. It can spawn on floor loot. It can spawn in chests, gold POI drones, as well as fishing spots. And a single NPC does sell it. Now I don't know what NPC does sell it yet. We don't have that data yet because the update literally just came out. Not even the leakers know that yet. According to the code, there is an NPC that does sell it. And it is in comp as well. Uh, it's not the greatest item. So it's not really something that should be a concern. Now we could check the vault here, but it doesn't have 100% spawn in epic chests or anything. So there's just as high of a chance of finding it outside the vault. And considering the vault gets like third party a lot, like people just be camping, hanging out there. It's not really the best place for us to be going right now, especially in trying to make a video on a new item. It does feel like they've buffed the spawn rate of bunkers at the moment. I'll be making a video on loadout soon. I've, I've rewritten the script a few times, but bunkers I don't think are worth picking up this season purely from the fact that snipers are so easy to use. They, you're just likely to get one shot snipes while sitting inside of a bunker. Like you can't really sit still in them anymore like you used to be able to. The other great thing, if I was able to get one here, I'd be able to figure out if you can mod the item. Because I actually highly doubt that this item is going to be moddable. And there we go, the lock on pistol. Finally, we've got this item. So let's talk more about the lock on pistol. Now it was first introduced in Mega. It does sound like there's a couple bots fighting out here. So let's push out this way. And it does kind of have aim hacks, but Takes a while for those aim hacks to work. So in reality, it's probably not worth using. You're a lot more likely to get sniped or for someone else to come shoot you in the back while you're waiting for this item to lock onto someone. Now it does as well when you aim down sights like this, it has sniper glint. So you will be able to see when someone's actually using this item actually could lead to some people thinking that you have a sniper when you actually don't now when you do lock on you have to aim down sights 
and you have to wait a fair few seconds until all of those four pops up. Now it does shoot four bullets in this time frame, and you can shoot bullets without doing this too, but it is highly, highly inaccurate. So you are gonna miss a lot of shots while trying to do that. Now, one of the best things about this item in Zero Build is that it can actually lock onto people if people are behind trees, like behind leaves, or if people are in bushes. Essentially, this is a way to make sure that people aren't in bushes that you're approaching. So campers, watch out. Now the damage for this gun is 25 per bullet with a 1.25 headshot multiplier, meaning it's 31 to the head. It does not have first shot accuracy as well, which I think is another really important thing to know about this gun. And can you mod it? No, you can not. So this tracking only works when you're aiming down sights. And you can hit fire the weapon too. And you'll notice here when I do hit fire how the shots are kind of everywhere. And if I was aiming down sights not locked onto people, you notice the bullets like kind of curve. They don't really go like where you'd exactly expect them to go. Like maybe someone's at a further range it could hit. This scan ability that locks onto people only works at 50 meters away, which is not a far distance at all from me to this marker right here, which is not a really great distance. All right, sounds like someone's above me here. See if we can lock onto them. And hit some hip fire. There you go, that was nice. They hit a big pump shot on me, a big, big pump shot. So in order for it to lock onto people as well, they need to be inside of this circle that is on your screen. Don't think this item's gonna be worth it this season. In previous seasons, I can definitely see it being worth to an extent. Maybe if you play like console, like Switch or something, and people don't snipe as accurately on PC, sniping is just left, right, center, everyone snipes, everyone destroys everyone. And you don't really wanna be standing still for a few seconds. So waiting for this to lock on and moving slow, you're probably gonna get hit 300 to the head. So it may be worth in some lobbies, but in PC lobbies, definitely no. KVM lobbies, definitely no. Now, when you do use this item and you do lock onto someone, that last shot will always be a crit hit. So it can hit a total of 100 damage. And when you are in that lock on mode, it is technically the fastest firing pistol in Fortnite but I don't believe it's at all the best pistol in Fortnite. So if someone's running away, say if they've got the grappler blade or they've jumped in the car or something, or maybe you just want to check out a bush, I think this item's really good, but for every other circumstance, I think it's not really worth picking up. Oh my gosh, I went AFK for a sec there to read my notes. I write notes when I make videos and I almost died so quickly there. What was that dude doing camping inside that building? Oh my gosh, I got so scared. I've been trying to record this video for so long. Finding this item is a struggle at the moment, like an absolute struggle. What were they doing in there? So as I was saying, if people are in the air or trying to run away to a vehicle or something, or like I was there with the grappler blade, trying to grapple away, it can be really good at hitting those last few shots because you wait for a few of them to lock on, you let the bullets release, and then they guaranteed hit. So if someone's unsuspecting, it's really good, but for the most part, especially in offensive play, or trying to just like straight up attack someone, or defensive play, doesn't really work that well. Just someone with their back turned, which in most cases, you probably want to use a sniper instead. Now it has pretty poor accuracy when aiming down sights, and it does not track the opponents. Some people say using it with a sniper rifle is best. Ouch. Bam! Peter Griffin's got the aim hacks on him. I was approaching him way too casually then. Now, right, let's quickly buy ourselves some more health. And try and find Peter Griffin again. Hopefully we can get some of those lock-on shots. So as you'll notice here, Peter's actually going to be a really good target for us. Because I'll be able to show you. See, we can see him there. It's not actually locking on him at all. Now there is only seven people left remaining in this game. And to be honest, I feel like the more I use the lock-on pistol, the more likely I am to lose this match.
Nice. Took him out. That's what having this shotgun is all about. Got ourselves a medallion there. And I do want to pick up the sniper, but we're not going to do it. Now, he did have an extra shield pot, so we will take that. And we will take Nisha's striker assault rifle there. And we'll head down here to a couple fishing spawn spots that I know of. Right, hit that reload. And I'll try and hit a lock on shot, but... If the person's too, like, close range, I'm going to have to switch to my shotgun ASAP. As you see there, that was some pretty good lock-ons with this gun. Now, let's hit that launch pad. And this will be a really good opportunity to use the lock-on pistol. Ooh, lock-on pistol versus ballistic shield. They are too far away from me. And I stayed in zone way too long there as well. So let's head into this area and see if we can find ourselves a med kit or something. Oh, there's a med kit right here. Sorry, lock on pistol. I need to take this med kit. And we'll pick it up here. And you can see the tap fire can destroy people. Pretty well. Maybe I did underrate this gun. Like the accuracy for it was definitely something I used to notice, but only newly noticing right now. All right, so 1v1. So me versus the other person with a medallion who ran earlier. Let's try and hit these lock-on pistol shots. They should be over here somewhere, maybe in this building or under this bridge. I saw them, they're in this building here. I will try to rotate to them somehow. All right, nice little 25 there. Let's get ahead. Because they're going to have to move with zone anyway. You can see how that locks on. And they're a little bit too far away. Ooh. Okay, I had to take him out. I wasn't about to lose that. Just because I had the ballistic shield and this pistol probably wouldn't break through its block. But yeah, there's a lock-on pistol. GG. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave it with a like rating down below. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, as always, to take care of yourselves. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Goodbye.